Hey guys, what's going on? We just got some brand new news about Season of Opulence for Destiny 2, and we're going to cover that in today's video. Be sure to leave a like, and we're going to get into the first piece of information. So the first thing that they tell us is about the Menagerie six-player matchmate activity on the Leviathan ship, and it says we'll go to an unexplored deck of Kallus' ship, which hopefully it looks a little different than the existing parts on the Leviathan, so it doesn't feel like an extension, but more like a new area. The next thing it says, upgrade a chalice of opulence to better refine which gear you earn. I feel like this is going to be sort of like a consumable, like the Five of Swords card from Xur or the Holiday Oven that you got from the Dawning event, except this time it's going to be nodes that I think could correspond to different gear that you can get or different modifiers that you put in the activity. And the last thing it says is about replayability, how all the enemies and the paths are changing, so it's sort of got like an infinite forest sort of feel to it. But hopefully it's a way better version of that because the infinite forest is kind of just like a glorified loading zone. So hopefully this spices it up and gives us some cool encounters. The next thing we see concerns the raid. It's not really any new information, just a really cool teaser image. It shows six guardians looking down at a chasm and looking on at a door for the leviathan. I feel like either this is going to be the opening encounter where we either have to go to that door or jump down to the chasm. Either way it looks pretty cool. Also keep in mind the raid is available on day one. Now the next thing we see is a collage of the pictures of the different weapons and armor from this season. Now we'll start from the first column. We see a pair of Titan Gauntlets and a Titan Mark. And we also see a submachine gun that looks almost identical to the Mina Mini tool. And we'll get back to these exotic pairings later like the Sturm and the Drang and the Mina Mini tool and the Mina Multi tool. Then at the bottom, we see a fusion rifle, and it looks like the Praetorian's foil from Vault of Glass and Destiny 1, which I think is pretty cool. The next picture, or next column, we see a picture of a Titan helmet and some Hunter gauntlets, it seems. And we also see the Truth Exotic rocket launcher, which is confirmed to be a quest exotic releasing later after the season starts. And at the bottom, people are speculating that this looks like Hawkmoon, but to me it looks way more like Aes Luna from Destiny 1. In the next column, we see a hunter helmet and some hunter boots. We also see a hand cannon that could be exotic, and I'll get back to that later. And at the bottom, we see what looks like a reprised version of the crown splitter sword. In the fourth column, we see a sniper and a shotgun. The sniper looks a lot like the LDR from Destiny 1, which I think is pretty cool if they do bring that back. And the shotgun looks like either a found verdict or a fell hunter's life from Destiny 1, which hopefully they bring those back. Those are some really good shotguns. And at the bottom, we see a hunter chest piece, which looks pretty cool. We also see the exotic, the Kefri Sting for the Hunter, which is a really cool exotic from Destiny 1, so I'm glad to be having that one back. In the last column, we see a Titan chest piece, Hunter Gauntlets, but then we also see a sword, which many people are speculating that it's either Dark Drinker or Race Lighter, but I don't think it looks nearly exotic enough to be either of those, so I just have a feeling it's just another sword. But then we also see what looks like the identical version of a Drang, which is sort of like the Mina Mini tool, which is another pairing with the exotic from a quest, which I think is kind of interesting that they've shown both of these weapons in a newer price roll. So hopefully we can get some random rolls on these ones. Now back to what I was saying about that middle hand cannon. I have a feeling that it's an exotic because the two weapons and armor that we see next to it is Truth and Kefri Sting, two confirmed exotics to be coming back. So I have a feeling this one's probably going to be exotic too. And I don't know what it could be. I don't think it's Rose, but it could very well be. It has a very similar barrel slant to the Thorn. So we'll just have to find out what that is. Now the last thing that we're shown, discounting the Pinnacle weapons, because I already made a video on those, so you should definitely check it out if you want to hear more about them, is the Solstice of Heroes Summer event that we saw last year, but this time it's coming back. So the first thing it says is that you'll be able to find your year 2 solstice armor, which I like the solstice armor from the first one because it provided a good grind for pretty much everyone throughout the entire event. The second thing it says is create elemental orbs by matching your elemental damage to the daily element, and then you collect 30 of these orbs to gain the empowerment buff, and hopefully it's not as insane of like a buff from the revelry, which I think they've learned their lesson on because that's just... It ruined Crucible for pretty much the entire week, so hopefully they don't do that again. The last thing they say is to harness the power of the elements to optimize your pursuit of glory and loot. So hopefully you can get really cool weapons, maybe. I think it'd be pretty cool to see some Solstice to Fear of Steam's weapons, and definitely some pretty cool armor sets that we're going to get. 
that's all we're going to see from this update from Bungie. I'll keep you updated tomorrow in a video because that's when they're posting this week at Bungie. So hopefully they'll give us some really cool stuff there. Including some gameplay of the new Pinnacle weapons, which I think should be very interesting because I have sort of mixed opinions on those. So I'll have to see how those play out. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.